Hi everybody, this is Ms. Nelson again, and today we are doing lesson 1.5 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 1.5 is about renaming numbers. And we're going to start off here with this chart that they've given us. So renaming numbers is just saying numbers in other ways. So this chart here can help us to rename numbers. So for example, the number that they have in here for us to start off with, if we just look down here, the complete number that we are starting off with is 500 thousands. They've written that here for us. That's the first way to write a number. Now they're asking us what other ways can we describe 500 thousands or write 500 thousands? And this is what they mean. Well, instead of just using this number and saying five in the hundred thousands place, how about we circle the first two numbers and we look down here, we see that makes 50. And then we just use the names on our place value chart to find out what comes next. So 50, 10 thousands. That's the second way to write this number. And then the third way to write this number, let me erase this so it's not so confusing. You just keep moving on down the place value chart. So we'll circle everything down here on the bottom again. What we circled is the number 500. Remember, we never have to say one though. So 500 thousands. So that's our third way to say this number. And let me erase this again. And we'll find our fourth way to write this number. Our fourth way to write this number, if we circle the four numbers down here and we look in our red circle, that's the number 5,000. So 5,000 hundredths. Remember, we never have to say ones. I'm just going to cross those out because even though we need to know where they're at, we don't actually have to say them when we name a number. So 5,000 hundredths. That's our fourth way to write this number. Fifth way to write this number. Erase all this, erase all this, erase all this. I guess I don't have to erase the whole thing. I could just add a circle onto it. Okay, fifth way to write this number. We look in our circle. That number right there is 50,000. We look up on our place value chart, tens. So 50,000 tens. That's the fifth way to write this number. Now the last way that we can write this number, I'm just going to erase this part. Expand my circle. When I look at my circle now, I'm back to 500,000 ones. And we can say it for this last one. 500,000 ones. So I see six different ways that we wrote that number. So lesson 1.5 is all about the different, different ways that you can rename numbers. And that's how you do it with a place value chart. Super easy with a place value chart. We're going to practice again down here writing 32 hundredths on the place value chart. So we want our last number, the two, to end in the hundreds place. So the way that we do that is we find our hundreds place. Here it is. We make the two end there, which means in 32, the three's in front of the two. So we put a three there, and then after, you just add zeros. So again, let me explain that. We're writing 32 hundreds on the place value chart. We find our hundreds, we make our last number, which is a two, end there, write the three in front of it, and everything behind it just gets a zero. That's 32 hundreds. So 32 hundreds written in san standard form is just three, two, zero, zero. Because remember when we're writing standard form, all we're doing is writing what we wrote in the place value chart, taking away all this stuff on top and add a comma. Okay, that's the first part of renaming numbers. Now the next part here, let me see if I can, get this right picture on here for you real quick. 
going to ask me. I'm going to say don't save. The next part is going to ask you to rename numbers with drawing pictures to help you. So we're starting with 150 and it wants us to change that into tens. Remember when we draw tens, we're drawing those long sticks. And if we want it to equal up to 150, we look at the number where what the number that is ending in the tens place. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see 150. If I label these spots with place value, this one would be ones. And this one would be tens. And we want what ends in the tens. So I'm going to cut off anything behind the tens. And I see that I have 15 left. So now I can draw my picture for the tens. So I'm going to first write my 15 here so I don't forget how many I'm drawing. And then I'm going to draw my 15 tens or my 15 longs. I just draw 15 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so there I renamed the number as tens and drew the picture to match. We're going to try another one. We have the number 1,400 and we want it to be shown in hundreds. So if I write out the number 1,400 a little bit bigger so you can see, this is my ones place, my tens place, my hundreds place. So I cut off anything that's behind my hundreds place and I see that I have the number 14 left. So I'm gonna write my 14 down here and then I just have to draw 14 hundreds. Now, if you remember from lesson one, hundreds are drawn as flats. Flats just look like a square. So I would draw out 14 of these flats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, sorry about these pictures, 14. For some reason my pen's not working so good. Okay, now this one here, number three, is trying to confuse you, but don't let it. Let's just write this in standard form first and then go from there. So two thousands, three hundredths, two in the thousands place, three in the hundreds place. This is our standard form. So what I'm going to do is it's saying it wants to, it is shown in hundreds. So I find my hundreds place, ones, tens. This is my hundreds place. So I'm just going to ignore anything that's after that. And I have the number 23. So this time I'm going to draw 23 hundreds. And remember, just like our last problem, hundreds are shown in flats. So I'm not going to actually do it because it takes a lot of time, but you would draw 23 flats in this space right here. Okay, so next one, this is kind of going a little bit backwards. This is asking us if we had 13 hundreds, how many thousands would that be? And how many hundreds would that be? Well, I'm going to show you a trick. If it's already given us basically our answer like we've seen up here and over here. All we have to do is take these numbers, the one and the three, and write them in the spaces. So you would have one thousands and three hundredths. So what you could do here to draw this thirteen hundredths is you just draw thirteen flats. Just like up here we drew fourteen flats. And over here, we should have drawn 23 flats. 
you would just draw 13 flats. Okay, now this one says rename the number, use the place value chart to help. So we have 18 thousands. So we want our eight in this number to end in the thousands place. So I find my thousands place here and have my eight there. There's a one in front of my eight, so I gotta put a one there. And I gotta put zeros afterwards. So if we ignore all this stuff up here and we add our comma in, that will be written as one eight comma zero zero zero. All right, that's lesson 1.5 and I hope it helps. If not, just go ahead and leave me some comments. Thanks. Hello? Hi.